Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and it is random buy, but first, the truth about this random buy. This particular batch of cards has actually been sitting here for a long time, since January of 2020, and I'm just finally getting around to getting through it all. Uh, the reason that it took me so long is that my life is just crazy hectic. Um, it seems like I do random buys all the time, but really it's a a lot of time that goes into that and my life was really not set up for that um, often it will take um, sometimes up to five hours of sorting and then another five or so hours after that to edit it all and get it presentable as a YouTube video so it actually takes up quite a bit of my time and sometimes I'm just not able to get to it so I'm really trying to um, look at quality over quantity anymore. Um, this particular buy ended up being quantity over quality and long ago when I did a sneak peek on it, I uh, discovered it was a lot of commas and uncommas that were very uninteresting so it just kind of sat there and sat there until I could finally get around to it. Um, the listing from Shop Goodwill is actually gone to history off of the internet so I can't even see it to see what I paid for it. I want to say I paid about $2,000. Um, it was going to be, you know, 36,000 cards or so. So I figured there would be plenty of good stuff to go through there. When I got it and I did the sneak peek, uh, I found that all of the good stuff that they had shown in the listing seemed to be in one spot, which I believe is in this box. We're going to save that one for the last. Uh, I believe there is one of the big Eldrazi's in there, Ulamog, um, Emrakul. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one it was. I believe there are some older cards, maybe some unlimited, they're probably just going to be commons, I'm not sure, but we're going to go through the rest of this since I've already gone through the other 30,000 that were just total bulk, I didn't even want to make a video out of it at that point, it was so boring, so I'm just going to spare all of that. So here we go, going to get into the rest of this and just finish this up and be done with it. So let's, um, let's take a look at this little stack first. Uh, this is what I had pulled out of the um, uh, the main big boxes, and uh, I will go about scanning these. Oops! Well, I got to set up here real quick. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Um, total paid two thousand dollars. I think that's about what it was. Um, and this is kind of just the interesting stuff that had been pulled out of so much bulk um, uh, the charms from plane shift I think are a little bit but I'm wrong so that one's gonna come off the list of course everything that is under 90 cents does not make my list I want to say one of these charms is a little bit I guess I'm totally wrong about these charms but here we go Croesus 55 cents it's okay it's not the best thought prison Nope, that's not going to make it. Vec Townships. Nope, that's not going to make it. So a lot of uncommons that I thought might have been okay really are not. Special Searchlight been reprinted. I think Power Conduit is going to be over a buck. Yeah, there we go. Three bucks. That's our first actual hit out of all of this. Hopefully there's enough to even get close to what I think I paid for this. Again, it's been a long time. This Elvish Harbinger, 928. So this one is, is it Buck, Liliana's Caress. Those are good. And so found an, a Legends Azure Drake, which is an uncommon, pretty good, 1499. So there's our first hit and it's not in great shape, but it's still pretty interesting.
Nature's lore though is very good. 759. So Spawning pit. There we go. 481. Spreading seas. Wow, that's come up quite a bit. Uh, five bucks. Used to be just barely a dollar. The night soil. Skull catapult sounds awesome. It's nothing big. So this was, I think, you know, one of the big hits. I found three Mystic Remoras out of those boxes. Bing, bing, bing. Ten bucks each. So that was uh, really like the best you could do out of this thirty thousand count box. Most of it was like Innistrad uh, and Re Return to Ravnica era um, commons and uncommons, Dark Ascension, a lot of it. So. Um, finding some of this older stuff that had been forgotten at one point was a little bit of a hit, but um, it was clearly mainly a big box of bulk and it was really boring to go through. So, you guys understand that I don't want to mess with making a giant video out of that. So, that was it out of 30,000 some cars. This is what was found here um, so we've got a long way to go to make it up out of these boxes here so I've not taken anything out of these yet in almost two years I've peeked and I kind of know what some of this might be but I think these first two boxes I'm gonna go through are not super exciting but I, I don't know I haven't gone through every card yet so oh never mind that's actually a uh, an unlimited card so Let's see how that goes Probably mostly uncommons, but some of them can trend pretty good. There we go. 460 for an unlimited Obsianus, Obsinius Ghoul Golem. I don't even know how to say that. Got a catapult. Here we go. More unlimited. So uh, I don't from the listing, and it's been a long time, I don't remember them. Uh, why did I scan that? I don't remember them showing off unlimited stuff, but maybe I'm wrong. So bear with me. I know like it totally is like suspicious that I'm going through stuff that I say that I don't know what it is, but I assure you I am, I am and wow I didn't realize there's a unlimited Ankh of Mishra is actually a rare 115 bucks. Well that I was not expecting 100% not expecting that. That's great. Well let's get to sleep for that. So now I'm really actually excited about this. Um, I was thinking the best I was gonna find was some kind of Eldrazi. Helm of Chatzuk, unlimited. Bam, there's a unlimited rare, 15 bucks. Ooh, there we go. Uh, revised bottle is 75 cents. Revised soul ring, 17.99. All right, that's a keeper.
An unlimited dingus egg. This is actually a rare. <laughs> Not quite. But wow. 83 bucks for an unlimited dingus egg. I, you know, everyone knows I'd be very hard pressed to sell it for that much, but hey, I was not expecting to find this in here, so that's great. All right, more of those, please. Conservatory, ooh, 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 and that's a pretty good hit right there. All right, conservatory, I don't think was anything, and the unlimited black vice, which I think is just, I think it is an uncommon, but it's a pretty playable card, right? There we go. Unlimited 26 bucks. Sure. There's a regular Tim and an unlimited Tim. So just look at the color difference if you can. It's unlimited, it's got a big tan. The revised has been indoors too long playing magic. Oh, well that's unexpected. That's not an uncommon. That's a good rare right there. Mana Vault. Boom, really? $67.99 for the revised? This was quite firmly like 20 bucks for a long time, wasn't it? Okay, that's a keeper. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, more of that please. And is that a basalt monolith? It is, oh my gosh. This is pretty cool. Unlimited monolith. Twenty-seven. Very nice.
Regrowth. Not that one. See the unlimited 24, okay. That was it for that box. I was not expecting these things to be in there, so I'm very happy about that. Considerably newer stuff. Guild gates, all right. Excitement. So this one might go pretty quick. Uh, this is the last box this is the one that I believe is where all of the decent stuff that was shown in the listing is. So let's get into that. So this box has the good stuff apparently 
and it's so far been kind of bulky. Well, hello, Umazawa's Jitty. That's a decent card right there. It's a little beat up. Very nice, twenty-five ninety-six. Great. Um, Patriarch's bidding, I think, is a decent card. Each player chooses a creature type. Each player returns all creature cards of a type chosen this way from his or her graveyard to play. Yeah. Yeah, that's decent right there. Cool. Our devastation, seventeen bucks for Torment of Hailfire. Really, and this one has come up a bit. Bond, I don't think so. Homeward Path. Wow, really? 15 bucks? It's been reprinted a couple times. 15 bucks. Add one or each player gains control of all creatures he or she owns. Wow. So that's a good way to reset and kind of control shenanigans, gain control shenanigans. So that's good. Homeward Path. All right. Well, that's interesting right here. Got a Perforos. 1987. Feast of Blood, the an IDW comic book tie-in, I believe, right? Promo media promo 291. Treasure hunt. Bucks, electrolyze. This is all is that DAC, DAC fading stuff there. Wash out 1249. Return all permanents of the color of your choice so they don't understand. That's nice and flexible. You're in a cool duress, alright. Alright, we've got a duress. Oh, that's sweet. So it's all about this this art. Obviously, this you know it's a 25 cent card. It's been reprinted a hundred million times. But this art with Ashiok is apparently well sought after. So that's that's great. Nice little hit right there. Gaze of Granite. I have to say that I I think I'm recalling that this stuff would have been shown in the listing. And so seeing this would have been <coughs> um, a reason why I would maybe want to get this. Requires eight bucks, cool. Perforos again, is that the same Perforos? Wait a second. Nope. 
Oh, there's another one. There we go. Perforous God of the Forge. Asceticism. Oops, these are all full careers. Asceticism is pretty good. Yeah, 14 bucks. There we go. Lord of the Void. You think from Gate Crash? 1260. Heliod. There we go. One, two of those. The Ghoul Collar. Party Girl. There we go. 13. Alright, we'll keep this one. Ilea. Court of Calling. gas that's decent yeah good way to make some mana magus of the coffers going on an hour and a half recording this by the way at this point It'll all be worth it if we find an unlimited winter orb. Okay, cool. Uh, fourth edition Black Knight. Very cool. This should be worth a little bit. Fourth edition, twelve ninety nine. The unlimited version. Two hundred and seven dollars. It's uh, in pretty okay shape. Definitely like a light play. Very cool. I don't remember if this one was shown in the listing. So I, I get the feeling that some of the stuff from this box was shown. So if this one was showing um, at that time and I would have gone for it based on an Eldrazi and unlimited pretty good card. And that's why I went so high on this apparently for two grand. And, you know, seeing that, oh, there's another 50-some pounds of cards to go with this. Heck, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Um, just, like, majority of that, there's other three boxes, almost 36,000 cards. It was just trash. It was just all returned to Ravica Commons and stuff. So, um, but this was what I was going for was, was something like this and whatever this Eldrazi was. And I probably saw some of these things, but I, I don't think I saw any of these in the listing so that's what it's right about right there um, hopefully there's some more uh, there's another perforous there we go ooh I okay pretty sure that was on the listing as well um, that would have got me all excited about this lot and that's some pretty good stuff right here okay great Eugene big daddy um, so like back in beginning of 2020, this card might have actually been worth more. I think it's been reprinted since then. So got a worm coil engine, not an oversized Scars of Mirrodin. It's a commander that one, and get it into a sleeve. There we go. Shield Red, this is a um, pre-release promo. That's pretty awesome. That to a sleeve. Felden of the Third Path. Time Spiral Remastered, wow. This one's a Commander version, Epic Experiment. And Mind Break Trap, 20 bucks, wow. If you're 
want to cast three or more spells to turn him into zero. To exile any number of target spells. Man, that's that's what Battle of Wits. This card should have been called Battle of Wits. Ooh, I almost bent it. Sure. Grave Titan. All right, and a Frost Titan. Okay. 11 bucks and a frost titan is a lot less like yep doesn't even make it more unlimited okay regrowth the bing a little bit. Um, must have gone in there. Is that signed? Scribbled. Probably, uh, I'll throw it. Up. Oh, here's another one. John Avon. I mean, could be Mark Poole. It almost looks like someone signed their own name because it's not either of those names. It's like Mike Adam or something. It's not either Mark Poole or John Avon. So this looks like an attempt <laughs> to pass it off as such, but I don't think it is. Oh boy, what did we make here? Thanks for trading again. Glad I could help you finish off the Mirrodin set. Add little dude with antennas to your mana pool. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, that's pretty funny. That's a rare, unlimited rare. Thirty two bucks. All right. Wild growth and a land where else, so we at least that's pretty decent. Unlimited Lanamar Elves. Eight bucks.
All right. Almost done here. Not found that Eldrazi. So I'm really kind of puzzled. Um, I guess am I fooling myself that there was one in here? It has been almost two years. Sed's Troll, that's a rare, and it's uh, halfway decent. Okay, this is the last little bit out of the box, and then it's over. And I'm guessing I'm not getting an Eldrazi here. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Here's a War Mammoth. It's not a Summer Magic. It's an Unlimited. Here's a Wanderlust. It's not a Revised Foreign Black Border. It's an Unlimited. Here's a Giant Spider. It actually counted it as an Unlimited, I guess. So that's a 4th Edition Wanderlust. Here's a Unlimited Regeneration. It's definitely not an Underground Sea. Okay, is this going to be the end of it? It looks like that is going to be the case. And that is it. So, I did not get the Eldrazi that I was expecting to find in here. So, that's really interesting. Um, I re remember the IDW promos. I think I'm there might have been um, this Winter Orb showing. But I distinctly remember there being some kind of big Eldrazi in this... Uh, um, random buy but randomly it was not here so that's okay maybe I was thinking of Ugin maybe that's what it was cause it was like a colorless big dog of the day of two years ago almost two years ago so but let's chalk it up to that so here it is it is technically a loss for me because I'm pretty sure I did pay um, about two thousand dollars for this um, kind of an overpay basically I was banking on the 36,000 commons that I went through to have more than just some Mystic Grimoras in it, and that didn't pan out, so that's okay. Uh, but finally, I've gotten around to this and actually made a video out of it, and more importantly, going to be able to clear it off of my my space here that I have. So, anyway, that was that. Let me know what you think down below. I know I wasn't able to show you like the the chain of custody of this thing and where it was bought from, but. I, I assure you it was from Shop Goodwill. I paid about 2,000 bucks. Um, was not expecting quite as much unlimited stuff. Um, and that's what this is. So anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.